Hi, good morning. Today we are going to learn about motion and types of motion. First we have to know about what is meant by motion. Motion means change in position of an object with respect to its surroundings. Here, flight changes its position with respect to its surroundings. So, we consider that flight is in motion, while there is no change in the position of hills. Hence, we consider that they are not in motion, they are in rest. If an object covers less distance in a given time, it is said to be in slow motion. If an object covers more distance in a given time, it is said to be in speed motion. Next we are going to learn about types of motion. Based on the motion part taken by the moving bodies, motions are of three types. Translatory motion, rotatory motion and oscillatory motion. First one is Translatory motion. If all parts of a moving body move in the direction of motion, then the motion is said to be translatory motion. Observe here a rocket moving into the space. Here, all parts of the rocket move in the direction of motion. Hence, we said that it is in translatory motion. Further, translatory motion divided into two types. They are rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. If a body in translatory motion move along a straight line, then it is called rectilinear motion. If a body in translatory motion move along a curved line, then it is called curvilinear motion. Once again observe here, a bullet fired from a gun moves along a straight line. So this type of translatory motion is said to be rectilinear motion. Motion of an arrow from a bow is also one of the example for rectilinear motion. Motion of vehicles on a straight road is also rectilinear motion. Observe here. When vehicle takes turn, it moves in a curved line. Hence, this type of translatory motion is said to be curvilinear motion. Motion of vehicles on hill station road is one of the best examples for curvilinear motion. Running race along a track on ground, also curvilinear motion. Up to here, we learnt about translatory motion and its types. Then, the second type of motion is rotatory motion. Rotation of wheels is the best example for rotatory motion. Observe here, each point on a wheel moves in a circular path around the center of the wheel.
Hence, we define the rotatory motion as if all parts of the moving body follow a circular path with respect to a fixed center or axis, then it is said to be rotatory motion. Motion of blades of a fan is one of the examples for rotatory motion. Let us see some more examples for rotatory motion. Motion of hands of a clock. Motion of the earth around the sun. Motion of a spinning top. Motion of potter's wheel, etc. Third one is oscillatory motion. Observe here, there is an object. Let us observe the motion of it. It moves to and fro about a fixed point following the same path. It is nothing but Oscillatory motion. So we define oscillatory motion as the to and fro motion of a moving body about a fixed point always following the same path is called oscillatory motion. Let us see some examples for oscillatory motion. Motion of pendulum in a wall clock. Motion of needle in speedometer. Motion of a swing cradle. Motion of a bouncing ball. Motion of wings of a flying bird, etc. We can observe all the three motions in a CV mission. Observe here. Motion of cloth is in translatory motion. Motion of needle is in oscillatory motion. And motion of wheel is in rotatory motion. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.